Well, today we're working on a 1923 Model T Ford Depot hack, and um, these Firestone 21-inch split rim tires, wheels, have been on the car since about 1973. Um, actually, the tires are in remarkably good condition. Um, they've been inside the whole time, but we're having a problem with the tubes deteriorating and the flaps, so... We end up with a flat tire, and we're going to go ahead and change both um, tubes and flaps. And I've already um, taken the lug nuts off with your handy Ford wrench, which does spark plug, head bolts, wheels, and a bunch of other things. So I've got those off. Um, also, we have this. you got to take your stem off, and you got to take this nut off right here. And then we'll be able to pull that uh pull that wheel off. Okay, I've gotten the little nut off of here, off of the stem, the cap, and at this time you want to pull the wheel away and push in your bolts if you can. And there we go. I got the, uh, was able to get the valve core out so you can totally deflate the tire. Now, <clears throat> there's many styles of these split type rims. Some have bolts, some have a little locking wedge. It's just amazing to how many different styles there are. If you want to go ahead and unbolt this. Make sure it's smooth and clean, and uh, the next step will be putting the tube in. Okay, you got your tube, it's all flat. The first thing you want to do is put a little bit of air in it so it gets a uh, shape. You don't want a lot of air. You want right here baby powder and a lot of it if you don't look like a Pillsbury Doughboy and it doesn't smell like a nursery you didn't use enough powder so you want to actually get this thing powdered up really good and I actually like to rub it in I just put it on the outside if you don't the tube is going to stick to the tire or the flap and you will have a flat tire you want to put a lot inside the tire I like to really rub it around and all the way around. Okay. Then you want 
start stuffing the tube in. And I might have a little too much air in it to do that, maybe not. Sticky. It's got some type of oil product on it. So we're going to want to do the same thing to this. Get it. Okay, now. We've got a hole for the stem. Get that placed over that. And the next step. It's going to be to start shoving it in there. But it's not that easy to get started. Sometimes you got to fight it. Once you get started, it goes pretty well. This is going to protect the tube against the steel wheel. We need more powder. Did I mention you need more powder? We need a lot of powder. This will keep the tire, the tube, and the flap from sticking, binding, and ripping the tube or, or any wrinkles you might get. All right, I got the tube and the flap in there, and I just installed this uh, bridge washer and this nut that keeps the tube and everything tight. Uh, also keeps the tube from um, turning in the wheel and getting pinched and getting flat. So got all that stuff in there, and we're gonna put the uh, here. Just gonna want to bend that up. So you want it up here a little ways. I added these vice grips because this thing wanted to keep slipping on me for some reason on this one. Hopefully it won't pop out. On get our bolt put in here. The only thing I don't like is that our tube has moved slightly. So I'm going to try to work on that. Get that tire so that tube, that stem is straight. It was straight and as soon as we pulled it in place it cocked a little bit. I'd really like to see that straight so there's no pressure on it. So i got to work on that a little bit. Okay, I got my bolt in here and what I've done is I've left the core out and I've inflated it, deflated it, inflated it, several times. I also take, put it on the ground. I walk on the tire when it's deflated. What I want to do is make sure that the boot and the tube are laying in there right and there's no tension. If you got tension, back yeah. on. And uh, we got our rim nut, or rim washer they call it, but it's actually a nut, threaded nut that goes over the stem there. And I got my inner uh, cap on and my outer cap on. So. Uh, it's quite a job, but uh, we should be good to go for quite some time now. So I'm gonna have to raise the top up before I go for a drive, but I finally got those done. <laughs> 